Welcome to our kitchen. Today we prepare two ancient Roman olive recipes. We'll cure the olives following a very interesting method and prepare a flavorful olive recipe called Epitherum. Olives prepared in many ways were usually served at the beginning of the dinner, during degustatio. We start with the ingredients for the Epitherum. We need cured olives, we'll show you the method step by step. White wine vinegar, olive oil and spices, cumin, fennel and coriander seeds. And then the fresh herbs, mint and rue. You can use them fresh or dry. If you don't have a roux, you can use another herb instead, or just mint. But you will lose a lot of flavor. It's slightly bitter taste, pairs perfectly with the olives. Ancient Roman agronomist wrote several recipes to cure olives. We chose a recipe from De Agricultura, the treatise Cato wrote in the second century before the Common Era. Following the suggestion of Cato and Pliny, we picked the olives from the tree, instead of shaking the branches and harvesting the olives from the ground. This method, Pliny says, is a little longer and requires more olive pickers, but it is the better way, first of all because it prevents the risk of ruining the tree and the branches. Cato suggests using for this recipe olives at different ripening stages, green, half-ripe and black. He says nothing about the curing process before preparing epithelium. So we chose from his book a recipe for olives meant to be eaten just following the grape harvest. We slightly pound the olives in the mortar. The aim is just to break a bit the skin. Then we soak the olives in water for one week, changing the water three or four times a day. Now we are ready to cure the olives. We need fennel and lentisca seeds, olive oil, grape must, white wine vinegar and salt. Lentisk is not mandatory. Cato writes that we can prepare jars with both the spices or put each of them into separate vessels. First, we drain the olives. Olives become more bitter when they ripen, therefore the soaking time can change. We picked the olives when they just started to ripen. If you use green olives, you may need less than a week. We reduced the amount of olives from the original recipe, keeping the same ratio of salt, 40 grams of salt for one liter of olives. Then we add the fennel and lentisk seeds, a bit of olive oil, and fill the jar with half grape must and half vinegar. The author doesn't tell us if we have to use lentisk berries or seeds. Another ancient Roman agronomist, Columella, uses the seeds in similar recipes. After a few days, the olives are ready to eat. To preserve the olives over a longer period of time, the author recommends the same recipe, but adding just vinegar instead of half vinegar and half must. Now we can use the olives to prepare the epithelium. First, we grind in the mortar fennel, cumin and coriander seeds. Two recipes of Epithelium survived to the present day. The one we are preparing today is part of the agricultural treatise of Cato, while the other was written in the first century by the agronomist Columella. Columella reports that this kind of preserve was widely used in ancient Greece. Indeed, many ancient Roman recipes and preparations have a Greek origin. We peat and mince the olives. We suggest tasting the olives before using them. 
If they are too much bitter, just let them cure for a few more days. Olives were a staple food in ancient Rome and a central element in Latin culture, despite they were not native to the Italic peninsula. Pliny reports that olive trees were yet unknown in Rome during the kingdom of Tarquin the Elder, in the 6th century before the Common Era. Then we miss mint and rue. Mint and rue are two of the most common aromatic herbs in ancient Roman cuisine. We add the olives, fresh herbs, vinegar and a bit of olive oil. Following Cato's suggestion, you can serve the epithelium immediately or preserve it in a jar, covering with a layer of olive oil. We serve the epithelium with cheese and mustache, a grape and must bread from the same author. You find the link to the recipe at the end of this video. This aromatic and flavorful dish is one of the many ways ancient Romans, from every social class, use to eat olives. If you're interested in ancient foods and flavors, or you're just looking for unusual and delicious recipes, please subscribe our channel.